It's one of France's biggest skiing areas. The resort of Tignes is always up before dawn. It's 7 a.m. and Megan is joining her fellow ski patrollers to catch what they call the first subway. But here, their commuter train is a funicular. In five minutes, we'll reach an altitude of 3,032 meters on the Grand Mud Glacier. Some three meters of snow fell overnight. As the sun rises, even the most seasoned members of the team are in awe. This is the little early morning show. It's beautiful. The team assembles at the rescue post on the summit. They have to make sure the site is safe before the slopes can be opened for the day. Jean-Louis, you're going to go with Megan to check the crevice. It's a tricky mission for Megan to complete. She has to trigger avalanches with these sticks of dynamite. It's an explosive that weighs around two kilos. With 10 years of experience under her belt, she knows all the dangers of the mountains. But Megan should in fact be more familiar with the sea than the slopes. I was born in Brittany, and I first discovered the mountains thanks to my parents who took me skiing once a year for a week in February. And what did you say? That I wanted to be a ski patroller. The operation gets underway. The team has to work fast because an avalanche could come at any moment. Grandmotte, we're in position for the first throw. Move back, I'm going to start. This is the tricky part of the operation. It's OK, you can throw it. Can I let it off? It's OK, you can let it off. The operation is successful and skiers can now invade the slopes. It's great. Every morning I'm happy to go to work, even when it's hard. Every day is different, so there's really not a routine. There are days when we're putting markers out, days when we're doing rescue work. It's never the same. Megan's day has gone well. It's now six in the evening, and she can finally spend some time with her children. Hello, my love. It's time now for others to take over. Robert is what's known as a tracker. He works right around the clock. For 40 years, he's been smoothing out the slopes using one of these special machines. Nowadays, there's a joystick, there's heating, a radio. Everything you could want. It's really comfortable. In seven hours, he will have made his way over 100 kilometers of slopes, and often in extreme weather conditions. That's it, she's there. For the steepest of slopes, he has to literally cling to the mountainside. All's well, we're fully hooked up. We just need the cable not to break tonight and everything will be okay. A kilometer of steel cable links the rock to the 15-ton truck. Helps workers like Robert climb up the slopes at a 45 degree angle. You have to be careful because you can easily lose your grip and damage the machine, which costs 400,000 euros. Robert has been working here for 40 years, but he's never tired of these peaks. We like to think and not talk too much. We like to listen up here on the mountain. He enjoys the silence for just a few more seconds before joining the rest of the night team at the support station. In Val d'Isère, some 20 people are employed to clear and smooth out the 350 kilometers of the station's slopes. Some soup? No, no. It's organic. I'll eat later. High up in these mountains, the trackers have to stick together. Last night he needed us, tonight I might need him. Well, obviously, when there are problems and you're up there by yourself. Solidarity, that's the key word. 
It's often well past two o'clock in the morning when Robert finally goes back down the mountain to get some sleep. In just a few hours' time, the skiers will be back out in force, ready to hit the slopes.